Hey guys, Subsekid here with another tutorial on After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you today is how you can reveal a logo or any sort of image as, it's, as if it's being drawn, so the outline of it's being drawn and I'm going to be showing you how you can make text look like it's being handwritten except without the hand so the first one with the logo I did in my intro which I uploaded yesterday so uh, this is this so you can just see it here just being drawn in so you can just see the outline just being nicely drawn in and I'll be showing you how to do that and what I'll also be showing you how to do is how to do something like that so run preview that so yeah it's being drawn in so that's just being nicely drawn in I'll be showing you how to do that as well so let, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the logo first so let's make a new composition and make a new solid just making the background and let's make this pure white hit ok make another new solid make it black and on the black solid click on the black solid double click the ellipse tool set it to subtract open up the mask parameters feather it a bit not well not a bit quite a bit hit T for opacity and just turn it down like that and that just gives us a nice vignette vignette background so that's that and then we can just import your logo or if you have one and I'll just quickly add a title action save to center it like that just to make it all nice and neat okay after you've done that click on your logo or image whatever you want to outline and then get the pen tool and then zoom in a bit to about 200% I would say that's what I usually do it on and just mask it like so do an outline of it as if you would actually draw the outline so just make a simple quick mask you can make it a bit more accurate and a bit neater I'm just doing this relatively quickly for tutorial purposes because you just don't want to see me taking like ages masking it about like that and because this is the mask is actually what's going to be drawn and say if I just draw it draw this it will only draw that outline and it will just look like a weird outline and you won't actually be able to distinctively tell that it's an S and a backwards K subsequent we're here and so to do that you have to make well for me you have, I have to make another mask to cut out that little inside bit otherwise it will just look kind of retired if you just hit control Z you can just get rid of a bad mask point if you do make one like I just did and those are my two masks and you can just zoom out so fit up to 100% and after you've done that you can just go back to your selection tool uh, click on your logo image thing and then go to effect and then go to generate and then stroke which is there or you can just type it in there whatever you want and basically what it does it makes a white line on the mask but you can't see it because it's a white background so I'll just change the color to let's see cool blue like that Oh no, you still won't be able to see it. Let's see, a red. I'll just do change it to red. And as you can see, there's a red line. Um, you can just touch this like this controls how thick it's gonna be. So you can have it like retardedly thick, or you can have it like really thin. I would I like about I would put it on about three point five, three point four. Um that's good and then if you're doing an outline of the logo you want to set it on transparent and this is what I meant if I only had the one mask that's all you would see and it would just look like what the hell is he a retard um, and then that happens but as you can see all you can see is one so you're probably thinking what the hell am I a retard um, but no because basically what is set is only for doing mask mask one which is the outline I can set it to mask 2 which is only the inside or you could just hit this all mask button and it will do all of the masks like that 
and what you want to do now is set on the end parameter you can see it's 100 percent you want to set that to zero to zero and go to anywhere in your timeline wherever you want it to start so I want it to start in one second through let's make it two and then on the start parameter hit the stopwatch and then go forward however long you want it to take to draw I will say about two and a half seconds ish and just set it to a hundred and it should just make two simple keyframes so if you see it's not drawing and then it starts drawing and it'll be like that but as you can see the first outline mask draws in and then the second middle one starts to draw but say if you want both of them to draw at the same time uncheck this stroke sequenti sequentially button and then they'll just draw together at the same time and then they'll they'll automatically adjust the speed so they both finish at the exact same time so if I just ram preview that for you guys it's not drawing so because we keyframed it to there you can set it to wherever you want like oh my god it's a drawing well, hey <laughs> and that's that one so it looks pretty cool so if you want you can like just go back to it and just change it to whatever color you want so let's choose a sick blue like that yeah yeah okay and now I'm gonna be showing you how to do something like this let's see how long this goes six minutes okay so I'm gonna be showing you how to do something like this this is simple so I'll just delete this text and so I already have the background and it's basically the same as the logo you just have to do the masking so just add your text I'll just do subs and if you just oops if you just select it you might it's best to turn up the spacing so they don't overlap like that or something uh, so just turn it up and what you want is a generally thin font you don't want something chunky like uh, like that you you don't want that you want something nice and thin like Luna bar that's the font I'm using right here and it's a good font so zoom in to about a hundred uh, whoops zoom in to about 200 percent ish like that and again just click on your text and then get the pen tool and you basically go through the middle as like as the cent like the center of the text as accurately as you can and going through it how you would write it so I write my S's like that some people write their S's like that uh, I write mine from top to bottom some people write from bottom to top however you want it to be written and just make a mask path just down the middle as accurately down the middle so just go like that and again if you make it like a bad point uh, just zoom in a bit like there and now once you get to the end of a letter just like click anywhere so just like up here and then you can just uh, come back down and just through there like that and you just do that so yeah I will just finish off this U and then I'll just pause it so don't want to do that so yeah I'm just going over and doing this so you just do that like as directly down the middle of the letter as you can so it will just look better so I'll just quickly pause it here so you don't have to watch me do this okay so I'm back and as you can see I'm nearly finished I'm just going through the Z and it only just took a couple of minutes maybe just make that a bit more curvy ish and I'm just doing this roughly you can get it as center like central as you can I just don't want to take too long and with this mask you don't want to make a closed mask so on this we actually closed off the mask on this one 
we just want it to like end so we just want it to end here we don't want it to like connect back to the beginning to do that just click away and then just get onto your selection tool and then if you like just hit M click on your text hit M you have your mask there so zoom out and you can see the marks it just goes round and over and just basically so once you get to the end of it just click like somewhere and just carry on so and then at the end just click anywhere and then that's that and now again just click on your text go to effects go to generate and then go to stroke like so and it'll make a white line over it but mm, backgrounds white so like that and what you want to do is on paint style go to reveal original image <clears throat> and what you want to do is on end set it to zero and then go to whatever so I'll go into about one second and make a keyframe on the start and then go forward about two and a half seconds and then set it to a hundred and it should draw it out like it's being written so if I just go out a bit and RAM preview it like that being drawn like so <laughs> but as you can see my mask wasn't too great but what you can do as you can see it comes out really sharp and edgy like the mask was if you just click back and turn up the rush size a bit so just a tiny bit thicker than the actual font itself so the font was about that thick I would set it to about that thick about that thickness and if I just zoom out now and RAM preview it as you can see it looks so much better so that looks pretty neat I think and you can you don't want to set it too thick otherwise it will just look kinda weird so you don't want to go send it like uberly thick even though it will only go to the thickness say if you set brush size to 50 it's like hey but it's still normal but when you go to actually play it out it comes out retarded like so so what you actually just want to do is set it to maybe about five at the max probably that seems a bit big anyway no five's decent five's good like that and say if you still have like here it's sort of a straight edge if you go back onto your mask hit the pen tool just add a point and then click on that exact same point and then what you can do is if you hold down control can just move these about so it will just improve it so over here it was slightly there like that and basically you can just slightly adjust the mask to make it a bit better and whoops and yeah so that's there just coming in pretty neat I think so thanks for watching guys that was a pretty simple tutorial um hope you learned something so thanks for watching guys please subscribe like maybe a favorite if you found this quite helpful um helps me out a lot so cheers thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you later